Satchel 175 here with <laughs> my god the most amazing statue I've ever gotten to date uh, hands down this thing is just amazing so worth the money uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm speechless I'm just so excited with this thing I raised home from work just to look at the freaking thing <laughs> it's so awesome all right let's let me start reviewing before I get overwhelmed here but this is the slip cover that came over the instruction manual and actually no let me go back to him for five seconds I can't I can't <laughs> I just want to tell you that this is number freaking awesome out of freaking awesome okay I don't care what number it is alright I don't care that it's not numbered all the haters and oh the the people who can't afford it and you know that because because you can't get it you're gonna be ripping on it you know what I'm not saying I'm rich either. I, I, I can't afford it. I had a flex pay it. So, I mean, you know, I paid, you know, 170 a month for so many months, okay, over the past year. So, but it, you know what? It was worth every penny of my hard-earned money. I, this piece is just freaking amazing. I, I can't even get into it. My wife, who epically hates these statues now, was still, like, just awestruck looking at it. She, even she, you know, I catch her looking at it. That's how epic this piece is. But okay, now that I said that, you know, oh, one other thing. All the idiots who are like, oh, there's netting on the legs. Oh, it looks terrible. It's not screen accurate. But it looks better, all right? Because he naturally has netting up here, and the netting on his legs matches. It's perfect. I, you know what? It's not a big deal that they added that. Whatever. It, it looks freaking awesome, the detail. I'll get into it in a minute. I'm just, oh, all right. Here's the slip cover. Really nice quality. You see Sideshow's logo. Wolf Predator Legendary Scale figure. This is the first Legendary Scale figure I've ever gotten. And after looking at this thing, it might not be the last. There you see Legendary Scale figures. 20th Century Fox. And then Amalgamated. Amalgamated. Um, I'm trying to read it. Amalgamated Dynamics. So it says... In association with Amalgamated Dynamics Incorporated. Just so you can see what it says. And on the back, of course, the wonderful people that it came from, SideshowCollectibles.com. So, it's just amazing. And here is the actual instruction book that it came with. It came with its own instruction book. I'll try and show you as best I can. The quality on it is just amazing with the gloss and everything. You see the slip cover. I'm not going to read it to you word for word. And, you know, if you want to see it, go buy it. <laughs> but uh, there's a picture of the actual Wolf Predator with the unmasked with the razor whip. And then you kind of see the making of it. And, you know, a story on it and stuff. And then assembly instructions and everything it comes with. If you want to see that, you can pause it. And then it just shows you how to put it together. You actually have to get instructions on how to put it together. It's that detailed. God, it's just, I'm breathless. Just, this thing is amazing. I sound like a freaking idiot, but I don't care. That's how awesome this thing is. Anyway, more directions on how to put it together, which I figured out on my own. And the razor whip, you can kind of curl and stuff. And there he is with the mast version. That's cool. It came with that stand for the second head. There's their promo pictures. And here we go. All the people who made this. Aliens vs. Predator, Requiem, Wolf Predator, Legendary Scale Figure, Sideshow Collectibles, and in association with Amalgamated Dynamics Incorporated, 20th Century Fox, and Legendary Scale Figures. This is badass. It began on their world. It will end on ours. That's right. It ends in Statue Hunter's collection. Oh, love this thing. All right, enough about this slip cover and instructions. Put that over there. To show you this guy, I'm going to have to get on this footstool and go around the table so you can really see in detail, you know, up close on him. And it's just unbelievable. It's all right. Let's go over the, the different display options. Like, oh, another thing. Look at my fridge. He hides my fridge. He's huge. It's like, that's my big ass 
table there in the center of my kitchen. And this thing is huge. Anyway, all right, here's the first display of the razor whip. You can curl this. It, it, it scares me, but because it, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's very delicate. I don't want it to break, but the little things are like rubbery. You can move them and you can push them and bend them and stuff like that. It's like a soft rubbery covering over a wire. Now, Big Silver's a sign his video, it was broken here. This is connected. This is all attached. He stuck it in. So he's contacting Sideshow to get that fixed. You know, they'll send him a replacement. But I curled the whip. I'm probably not going to display him with the whip because I just want to do it for the video to show you just because I don't want it to break. I don't know, it just, it doesn't, it won't break, but just in case, it just looks like it's, you know, a lot of weight on it. I mean, you can see he either cut the alien in half with the razor whip or with the sphere. He could have done it with either thing, so it looks fine displayed either way. Obviously, I'm displaying him with a spear, so I left the razor whip on his belt. It's real leather, like a real suede type leather that holds it. Um, it's mixed media. The net is real. The leather thong that he's wearing is real. And the, this pot. Oh, just breathtaking. All right, let's start at the bottom. Look at the base. I don't know if you can see this in my camera, but there's parts where the blood is oozing. Like there's his normal like organs, but then there's the alien's blood. It's the glossy, shiny stuff, and it's like dripping where it's glossy and shiny. Look at the bubble there. It's insane. Let me use my pointer. The bubble right there is dripping right down there. You can see the glossy, shimmery stuff, and then there's a puddle of it there and there and there and there. It's insane. Looks awesome. He just sliced them, right? Sliced his arm off, sliced them in half. The base is just incredibly detailed. It's so detailed. It's two statues in one. It's a one-third diorama because you have half of an alien body here and the whole wolf predator here. It's a total diorama. It's a one-third. This is, everyone's like, oh, it's smaller than the other Legend Scale. Yeah, you know what? It's smaller, but you're getting a one-third diorama. You're getting a legendary scale diorama. So, whatever, go ahead, it's not legendary scale, whatever. It's insane, the alien looks perfect. Looks so cool. The detail on this guy is impeccable. Just insane. Just looks awesome. Oh, let me duck and avoid the razor whip here. All right, let me climb up the ladder here and let's show you the detail on his face, on the head, it's amazing. Let me get him in focus. Wow. The dots, the paint job is perfect. These fine little, little wisps here, they're kind of like slightly flexible, almost like a rubbery thing, but you still got to be careful. And then you can see where his one good right eye and then his damaged left eye and the left side of his face is all burnt, scarred from the like alien blood or acid spit. So it's all like, and then someone was saying, oh yeah, where's the damage on the face? What do you mean where's the damage on the face? It's right there. The mandible like melted off. It's, it's freaking insane. The alien hand down there is probably this alien's blood that melted side of the side of his face. The shoulder blasters, you have one there, and you have one there. Then you have that razor whip curled out. You can curl it however you like. I like that pose like that. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put you down for one second, and then you see his bomb. Oh, I'm so glad I got this piece. And the backpack with the shoulder blaster, and both dual shoulder blasters. Then he's got his laser discs, like cutters. And then, of course, his razor whip on the belt, which, you know, when I switch this out, it'll look perfect, which I'm going to do right now. Take the razor whip down. I'm going to put you down for a second. And I'll take the razor whip off.
magnet is strong. Let me put the razor, razor whip down over here. I appreciate your patience, guys, while I do this. And the, it's a good magnet it goes into. So now we have the spear, which looks awesome too. Just as good as the razor whip. And you see him with the spear. The spear looks awesome. I apologize for the glare of the lights, but he's so up high. I gotta like aim up at the lights to show you guys how cool it looks. And for the alternate display, when you display the razor whip, you can see the uh, the other spear right here that goes in on the side of his backpack and a peg up there. So it's kind of like on the side of his backpack. But I'm going to leave that off because I'm going to display him with the spear. Because the, uh, sorry for shaking the camera, there's no uh, give on the spear, you know what I'm saying? So, and it looks just as badass, just as cool with him with the spear. I'm, I'm, it's, it's crazy because one day you might get bored of this head and let's go to this head, you know what I mean? And the, the base that it came with is so solid and sturdy and heavy. Both these bases are incredibly heavy, but it's just so cool how it, it holds them. I'll try and show you really quick without breaking them. As you can see, it's a heavy, thick peg and then it goes in there. And there's a peg hole in there. Let me put him back in for you. I'll do my best while I'm holding the camera. And then it just it slides in very good too. Just want to make sure he's in. But yeah. Okay. This wire is kind of like loose. It's like a little rubbery kind of. You have his separate necklace which I put on separately with all his trophies. They look awesome. Other assorted alien trophies and stuff. You have these bombs that he has on his bandolier here. And then I think this is like a laser gun or a spare laser knife or something there at the end. And then you got the shields on him, the knee pads, down to the detail on his feet. The detail on this guy is just amazing. Spikes on the back of his calves back of his ankle and heel it's just so much freaking detail down to the bottom of the shoes the back of his dreadlocks on the back of the base you can see it really good so I can really can get into detail here with with him nice and low on the base and all the markings the alien markings on his helmet I just love the wolf predator's helmet the most out of them all it's the coolest let me see if I can possibly tilt him and show you the eyes. Look at the eyes. See the uh, honeycomb effect in the eyes? You get some light over here. God. Try to get some light without tilting him too much. How cool does that look? The eyes look perfect. Wow. And there's his laser hammer on the helmet. Badass. And then there's the razor whip all rolled up hanging off his belt. The bloody dead alien on the on the ground that he's just jumping over while his snapper's like halfway stuck out. What do you guys think? You wanna see him with the uh, mask on? I can try and put the mask on for you. Going into 15 minutes on this video, it's going to take me forever to download, but on this, then there's another razor cutter here, like razor spin disc in the front of his shield, and it's all fabric here and fabric there, like leather suede, leather suede here on the leg pieces, holding them on, like spike there. He's just amazing. There's nothing wrong with this guy. If I had a complaint, maybe it would be that there's no light up feature on the laser. Or no light up feature on this, like this doesn't open up and show you like a, you know, the bomb ticking down like 
for two thousand dollars they probably could have added that too but then it's an extra thing with plugging in and batteries and all that jazz you know what this guy is just perfect i'm happy the way he is um, let me get up a little high and spin him around and show you some of the detail let me just move that head a little before i start spinning him you see the backpack here i'm gonna have to duck when the spear comes around to me you see the back of his arms He's got no netting on that arm, and he's got netting on this arm. Backpack. So you see his naked arm there, and the paint on the spots is perfect. They did it just beautifully. This wolf predator is amazing. You look down at the alien body. just looks so cool. These guys are very slightly bendable. They have slight give to them, but I wouldn't want to play with them. This you can kind of pose and move, as well as this one. But that's in between his hair, so you got to very carefully jostle the hair in. I don't know. I still can't determine how to display him with that crazy unmasked head or with the masked head. I, I just I can't determine how to display him. I mean, that's so badass too, but I think he kind of looks cooler roaring like he's pissed off. I'll probably leave him displayed like that. All right, guys. I think I've taken up enough of your time going on my longest video ever. I've never taken this long on a video, I don't think, but it's just so freaking epic and huge and beautiful. Best statue ever in my collection, and I have a pretty big collection. There's no lines with the neck where it switches out. It's perfectly seamless. Couldn't be happier with this thing. If you are on the fence about this, and you're thinking about it, go out and get it. Look at the spikes on his like built-in brass knuckles. His claws. Paint application's perfect. Down to the spots on each finger. It's insane. If you can't afford it, think about flexing it. Honestly, I think this is the most detailed legendary scale figure to date. I love it. One last look at him.